Yesterday I received the new Xfinity second generation pod in the mail and I did my first look video and today it's time to set it up and test the speeds. If you watched the first video yesterday, this pod, I'm going to call it a super pod, it's got vents on the bottom, it's got two ethernet ports and it's got venting all along the back side which the first generation pod does not have. So, and this pod is about twice as big, not quite, but almost twice as big as the first generation pod. And now I'm going to set it up for the first time. I did a test already from the one location connected to the first generation pod. And when we're done here, I'm going to do the exact same test, see what kind of speeds I'm getting on this second generation pod. Here's my first generation pod. I've got it plugged into an electrical strip. That way it keeps it out from underneath all of the furniture, it keeps it exposed, it's out in the open. Here's the second generation pod, right there. And I'm gonna set this up in real time so that we see how it goes all the way from start to finish. So I'm in the Xfinity XFi app, if you can see that. And it says go up to the little icon, press that, and then down here at the bottom it says activate X5 pods. Here we go. Now it wants to know do I want to activate the one with the single Ethernet port or the double Ethernet port. First generation has the single Ethernet port. Second generation has the two Internet ports. So I want to turn on the, the super pod here. It says setup should take less than 10 minutes. I want to get started. It says unplug your old pods. Your new pods will get better speed and coverage if you unplug your old ones first. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to unplug. I've got three pods in place right now and I'm going to unplug them. Okay, you can see the three pods here. I've got them all unplugged. Now we're going to see what the next step is. I'm going to press there unplugged. It says please hold on. This can take up to two minutes. Okay, that probably took 45 seconds. It says ready for the next step. All of your older pods have been unplugged. We're ready to activate your new X5 pods. Press continue. Plug a prop, plug a pod in a room a halfway between your gateway and an area without coverage. I'm going to plug it in here in the office. It's plugged in. And press next. It says keep it clear. Plugged in, ready to go. Hold your phone close to the first pod. I'm going to set it right here. It says it's connecting. Waiting for the pod to come online. Now it says name this pod. I named it home office, confirm name. And it says your pod is ready to go. I'm going to finish the setup. All pods are now active. It says that it will continue to adapt to my home Wi-Fi needs for the next two to three days. As a result, some of your settings will now be managed automatically. This is a dynamic mesh system so it changes as your needs change in different locations within your home. Let's look at the results on the Gen 1 pods out of the office I was getting 122 megabits download speed and 25 upload speed. When I started the install of the Gen 2 it had me disconnect all the Gen 1 pods once I set that up, I did a test. The test here, very successful. 259 megabits for a download speed, 25 for an upload speed. Do I consider that successful? Very much so. So I've got the Extreme package from Xfinity. It's supposed to give me 300 megabit speeds on the download. And with through the first generation pod in the office which is at the other end of the house 
I'm getting 122. Now those first generation pods have a maximum of 200 megabits. That's the max that'll go through them, regardless of what speed your plan is. The second generation, it's a 500 megabit ceiling for the speeds that it could transmit optimally. That's optimally. I don't know what optimally is, but uh, that's what it is. So I'm getting 259 down at the at the office now. Huge improvement over the first gen pods. Now, I don't know what you can't do with 259 megabits, but I don't game. That is more than adequate for me. So these these pods though, they're not they're not designed to just give you more speed or anything like that in a certain area. They're designed to give you range, to give you service where you didn't have it before. If it was spotty or if it was really low, it could increase the speeds, but more importantly, it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to increase your ability to connect to the internet. And so what I did was I went down to the basement where we have a large screen TV. It is at one end of the house. The gateway is at the other end of the house on the first floor. And I did a test there as well. And I actually did even a little bit better. I got 261 on the download. I only got 24 on the upload. That's insignificant, ir irrelevant. So it's given me the fast speeds all the way to the other end of the house. Now, when I do connect to my gateway, if any device connects to the gateway, if I'm by it, near it, uh, I'm not one, around one of these where it's getting a better connection, I've got the 300 package. I can get about 325 megabits for a download speed. Do I consider all of this sufficient? Yes, I do. As we know, the internet speeds, they fluctuate. It could be 259, I could test it. Tomorrow it could be 300. And that's what I'll do because these are dynamic. These adjust to the usage of your home and where the internet is needed most. And so it says on the instructions it could take a couple days before it, it gets to its optimal settings. And so I'm gonna give it a couple days and I'm gonna do another test and maybe I'll do a video on that. But for right now, I would definitely say the Gen 2 pods are performing better than the Gen 1s as designed. So far, I'd say these second generation pods are what they say they're supposed to be. If you have any questions specific that you'd like me to answer or like somebody else in the community to answer, do me a favor, post them below in the comment section. And if you found this video interesting or informative, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.